a week before I was due to deliver that speech tonight, they said, you've got cancer. They said, if you don't get any treatment within the next three weeks, you're going to die. And then they told me that I wouldn't be here tonight to deliver that speech. But luckily, that speech isn't about what's to come. It's about what an amazing year it's been. And you didn't really expect me to write a whole other speech from my hospital bed, did you? So it started like this. If I've seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Bernard of Chartres compared us to dwarves perched on the shoulders of giants. He pointed out that we see more and further than our predecessors, not because we have keener vision, nor greater height, but because we are lifted up and borne upon their gigantic stature and knowledge. My middle name is Ross. I was given it not long before I was born because my great uncle Ross, he drowned in Sri Lanka. Mr. Ross Bailey was a Christchurch-based kidney transplant surgeon working for the Asian Commission for the Global Advancement of Nephrology. He was known for making a serious difference to an extraordinary number of people's lives back when organ transplants were an amazing feat. And all humility aside, he was the best in the world at it. A true pioneer, the first person to perform a kidney transplant in New Zealand. He was also an old boy of Christchurch Boys High School. He came from a working class background, the only one of his siblings to go to university. And he went on to save numerous lives because he could, because he sought higher things. His funeral saw the cathedral in the square bursting at the seams with people that he had helped. He'd done so much in his short years giving life to the dying. He dared to make a difference a graduate of Boys High from a working class background, putting Al Shiropeto into action. Now we can't all save lives by transplanting organs, but we can make a difference in our own way. Christchurch Boys High supports academic, cultural and sporting success. And as a school, we are exceptional in each and every one of these fields. But we can't all be the best scholar achieving straight excellences or the best sportsman in the first 15, believe me. But we can't be the best at everything, or even times, at anything. What we can choose to have is moral strength. Moral strength is another of boys' high values. I wrote about this before I knew I had cancer, and now I have a whole new spit on it. Moral strength is about making a conscious decision to be a person who doesn't give up, when it would be easy to. To be lesser because the journey is less arduous. Jim Rohn said, let others leave small lives, but not you. Let others argue over small things, but not you. Let others cry over small hurts, but not you. Let others leave their future in someone else's hands, but not you. Of course, doing this will mean at some point you'll have to face your fear of falling short. A fear of looking like a fool. A fear of not being enough. And being so you monitor meant facing these fears every day. But here's the thing. None of us get out of life alive. So be gallant, be great, be gracious, and be grateful for the opportunities that you have. The opportunity to learn from the men who have walked before you and those who walk beside you. Boys, hi. I've been absent for three weeks. Could you please stop sending my mother texts every morning asking if she knows where I am? <laughs> that aside, I've missed you all dearly. For the past five years, I've been a proud student who attended Crowchurch Boys High. And from today onwards, for the rest of my life, I will be a proud old boy, giving back to those before me as they've given to me. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to continue to grow and to develop for the better. The future is truly in our hands. Forget about long-term dreams. Let's be passionately dedicated to the pursuit of short-term goals. Micro-ambitious. Work with passion and pride on what is in front of us. We don't know where we might end up or when it might end up. And so here we stand. Our rule is over and it is up to the next class to step into our shoes and take over. 
I hope that those of you who follow on will carry on a proud legacy. May the lads that follow benefit from the school's work to replicate the hall and the community spirit that undeniably comes from sitting together as one, strength and character of this mighty institution combined. I don't know where it goes from here for any of us, for me, for you, but I wish you the very best in your journey and I thank you all for being part of mine. Wherever we go and whatever we do, may we always be friends when we meet again. Alfred Pedro.